Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. Welcome to yet another first ride review. This is the Kiwi V302C, uh, one of the most beautiful looking motorcycles currently available in our market. It's a bobber concept, so it has fat front and rear tires, bobbed fenders, and undeniably it's like a royal painting that's, you know, sculpted beyond perfection. Now, this is again yet another product from Kiwi who's been storming the Indian market with product one after the other. First, they launched their scooters, then they've launched a cruiser, then the 300 twins and now the 302C bobber. This is the most impressive of the lot to date. And the pricing is also pretty reasonable, around 3.85 lakhs X showroom to begin with. And the price varies according to the color you choose. This red color is the most expensive of the lot. It goes way beyond four lakh, a little beyond four lakhs X showroom. And to know the exact on-road price, you can contact Kiwe Benelli, Kukatpalli here in Hyderabad. Now talking about the bike and before the bike, a little about the brand. Kiwe is a Hungarian brand which is now owned by QJ Motors, the Chinese auto giant which already owns Benelli. They've also brought Moto Morini and also Zontis motorcycles which I'll be reviewing later on. But for now, let's talk about the V302C Benda. Now Benda, as the word suggests, means to bend and trust me, with this motorcycle you can sway through the corners sway across the mountain twisties and enjoy them to the fullest because the power plant the riding ergonomics the feel of the bike is all on another level altogether just forget about the fact that this is a chinese owned brand now and when you ride it you really stand impressed of the rich fit and finish the build quality the the way the engine responds the way the torque is delivered everything is really really amazing to impress you to the most now talking about the design yes again as i told you this is one of the finest most beautiful looking motorcycles led headlamp led tail lamp led uh, drls led turn indicators and the teardrop shaped tank again it is a 15 liter tank so ample amount of tank range and also uh, when you sit you feel the seat height is way too low i think just under 700 mm so you might be concerned about the ground clearance but the fact is it has 158 mm of ground clearance so that is well taken care of so you can glide over the speed breakers without any issue or concern and then up front you have the fat 16 inch 120 section tire and at the back super fat 15 inch 150 section rear tire so this offers supreme road grip and great confidence to literally uh, you know attack the corners at your will another thing is the lowered center of gravity yes though the ground clearance is high the way you sit the way the bike is designed it gives you great confidence it feels as if the bike hugs the road an immense amount of confidence to push the bike to its limits and even the engine uh, you know kind of encourages you to rev the hell out of it and that's how well made it is now talking about the rest of the design the seat is beautifully laid out and again more of a solo uh, you know designed product uh, there's hardly any room for the pillion so it's primarily a bike that has to be enjoyed solo and ridden solo and enjoyed to the fullest then of course the alloy wheel design is beautiful the front usd folks you know chunky usd folks i believe 43 mm or maybe 41 mm but uh, they do offer great directional stability and straight line stability and uh, even through the corners they allow you to you know cut through the corners with ease we get twin shock absorbers at the back which support the chassis brilliantly and together the kind of stability and the kind of uh, rigidity this bike has on offer is a perfect blend of comfort and cruising and sport bike kind of a feel all blended into one especially the engine is the star of the show 298 cc v-twin it has the rumble of a v-twin it has the torque of the v-twin it is a belt drive notice that it's not a chain drive it's a belt drive so it kind of reduces the hassles of chain maintenance like frequent chain cleaning and chain lubing so belt drive is easier to maintain and long lasting and then of course the torque delivery is absolutely intense you get 29.5 bhp of max power 26.5 newton meters of max torque and a six-speed gearbox which all work flawlessly the clutch feels initially to be a little heavy but once you're on the go you're so caught up with the kind of riding pleasure this bike has on offer that you forget that the 
clutch is slightly heavier than usual but apart from that everything about this motorcycle is amazing even small things like the bar and rear view mirrors i've never seen bar and rear view mirrors being so functional in any motorcycle because usually they are there just for style they don't offer great visibility but the way they have been positioned on this benda v302 c uh, the field of view even though it is small it is very very clear you get a clear glimpse of what's lurking behind you and that's more than enough when the style quotient is right on top and functionality is also added on right there so apart from that as i told you the tires are tubeless and fat tires then you get a 300 mm front disc dual channel abs as standard uh, the engine is a liquid cooled engine that's another thing because usually you see cruisers or bobbers getting air cooled engines this one is liquid cooled so the engine temperature is kept at a check also it's an 8 valve engine so it allows the engine to breathe easy as you rev it higher and farther across the uh, red line so that is a uh, a rev happy nature of this engine which will put a smile on your face now how much i enjoyed you know revving the hell out of this machine you'll find out in my ride impressions so without further ado let's hit the road now okay guys so this is the keyway benda v302c a bike that is like a picasso painting flawless beyond imagination and does it ride as well as it looks the new v twin rumbler is here to rumble the competition so let's find out in this ride impression let's go for a quick hot lap So we managed close to 140 on this one. It can do much better. Okay, here we go. We did 150. Yeah, I knew it could do that. I just knew, and it can pull further also on longer straights, favorable conditions. Wow, what a rush, man! This thing is, ah, uh, it's so. It's like the Kingsman. If you see the Kingsman movie, <laughs> it's so polished, so classy, and yet so brutal. That's how it is and uh, the comfort is really maximized seating comfort is really really good suspension is well laid out USD folks i believe 41 mm 43 it's not specified you get all the switches you get hazard light switch engine kill switch switch gear is beautifully laid out there's no compromise no complaining about the fit and finish and build quality it is top notch right up there with the best of the best it is more of a solo rider you can't really fit in a pillion in here uh, and uh, that's that's the true essence of motorcycling mostly you want to ride solo and enjoy mother nature in all her splendid glory uh, look at the teardrop tank the paint finish is again very well done uh, suspension as i told you it holds its own like uh, doing triple digit speeds it's very very sure footed and uh, the way it handles is like you want to push it to its limits liquid cooling keeps a check on the engine temperature wow Well, the design in 
elements come together in perfect harmony is one of the most beautiful looking bikes currently available in our market and there is no doubt about that whatsoever this kind of playing around in the park the kid being handed over the toy of his <laughs> choice or his dreams it's like you sit so low you feel so much in control the load center of gravity the 15 inch fat 150 section rear tire 16 inch fat 120 section front tire <laughs> i just reviewed the apache the rear tire is a 110 section tire this one is a 120 section 120 by 80 16 inch front wheel so it's really fat rubber kind of sticks you can feel the tarmac you can feel the tire gripping the road so satisfying and so divine actually so that's pretty much it i love the engine no vibrations i love the refinement the grunt of the v twin i love the way the power is delivered i love the way the torque is delivered i love the way you sit i love the way the bike feels there's hardly any complaints about this only thing maybe the pricing if they could have made it 4 uh, lakhs on road this would have been a game changer for sure you would see many people flocking to the showroom to buy this piece of art and uh, again make no doubt about it make no mistake about it kiwi has built this really really well and you get a sense of that the moment you sit on this moment you see this it's built like a tank and uh, so glad i could uh, you know ride it to my heart's content and you guys could see my first ride reaction detailed ride we have ride ridden it through the city streets and uh, even there it feels at home it doesn't feel too rigid uh, to break your back or to break your wrists it is really really versatile so if you want a stylish bike that you want to ride to your office uh, everyone on the streets to you know give your bike a uh, stare nice old fashioned stare and this is the bike it's unlike anything that you find and uh, so glad we have so many interesting products coming up back to back and uh, looking forward for more uh, rich and amazing products from uh, this huge uh, brand wagon beat benelli kiwi and uh, yeah let's hope benelli brings back the 600i the legend and uh, for now it sounds really really good it feels really good it is a collector's item that you would want to relish or at least taste by taking it a test ride but believe me once you ride it you'll fall in love for sure one thing is the even after turning off the uh, ignition the radiator fan keeps spinning so that might be a cause of concern for some of them but if only they can address that that will be fine also the brake uh, fluid reservoir for the rear disc is right underneath the silencer so that's kind of an odd placing uh, so maybe it's because of the deform factor that few things have to be sacrificed but if it works and doesn't uh, you know come in the way it's fine as i told you the uh, ground clearance is pretty decent something that you can live with so everything is amazing if only the price would have been around 4 lakhs on road it would have been a steel deal and would have really uh, you know uh, caused a spot of bother to other major manufacturers in the game so that's pretty much it thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe yes even the braking is really good 300 mm front disc 240 mm rear disc so the bite and the feel is really really satisfying i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe